Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm looking at this monster, and this is episode 19 of our Astroneer series. And we got a lot to do in this episode. So if you guys did miss last episode, we actually just got back from mining some uh, quartz, and we are going to continue trying to make our uh, our solar farm. Is essentially what we're building, and so we are continuing to gather resources. So we still, I believe, we're going to need a full thing of uh, aluminum and two full things of copper and so um, we're gonna have to go and find some of that I'm going to smelt this because this does need to be glass though so we're gonna throw this on the smelter and let that cook while we are waiting but uh, next thing we are going to do is we're gonna go and we're gonna find some more uh, aluminum is what we're gonna do but before you go get some aluminum, I actually want to kind of like jumpstart the process of making uh, some of the stuff we need. And so we actually do need uh, some uh, hydrazines. We can make graphene for our uh, thing. And so we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to throw these on here for right now. And we're just going to set this to... Oh, no, we don't want to set it on graphene. We want to set it on hydrazine is what we want. Uh, but we need more hydrogen, so we are just going to turn on hydrogen for right now. And so this thing should start making some just auto hydrogen at some point. We're going to set it to auto hydrogen. There we go. That took forever, but we got our storage silo here. We're going to actually throw this on here. And we're going to go looking for some uh, laterite, so then we can go ahead, smelt it, and make some aluminum. After that, we're going to need two things of copper, but that should be enough to make our solar farm. So, let's go ahead. And uh, let's find a good place to dig down. I want to go this away. We're going to go a decent ways from our base so we don't interfere with any of our other stuff that we have. But, um... So this looks like a good enough spot, so we're just going to dig down. Ooh, and there is some aluminum right here, which is perfect. Alrighty, so I think we got most of that deposit. We're just gonna go ahead, drive back downward. Maybe some aluminum over here? Yes, right here. This is what we want. Ha ha. Looks like we actually filled up our storage, so we are actually ready to go back up to the surface. It does look like we are running on this zero power right now, though. Oh, no wonder our our entire power tower here wasn't even connected. No wonder we're not. Yeah, that would probably help because that's all of our wind and solar panels. No wonder we're not getting much power. So hopefully that'll help a little bit. We will see. Um, but uh, we are actually going to go ahead and print another two battery towers. Not battery towers, but just two more uh, storage silos. Uh, so we can get some uh, copper, is what we need now. So we got our other two battery towers printed. We're just going to set those on here for right now. And we are going to put our QTRTG back on here. But we are also going to put our all of our power consumers back on here too, so our power is going to drop real quickly. Let's go ahead, uh, open up our battery towers here and go looking for some copper. Now copper here is easy to find in the mountains as well as on the like mushroom biome. So I think we're going to head down to the mushroom biome because it's going to be a lot easier to find 
uh, this copper on the mushroom biome than it is uh, up in the mountains. So, looks like we're getting pretty close to the mushroom biome here. I don't see any copper just yet, though. Oh, I see copper over there, though. Let's go this way. Now, unfortunately, it was literally no copper. I guess we'll keep on going until we find some more. Oh, there's copper right there. Look at that. Yeah, definitely not a lot of copper in the deposit. I think I got literally one nugget out of that. So maybe this place is not the place to get copper. Not Does not look like there's a ton underground there. But again, there was like two or three nuggets there. Ooh, a zebra ball. I might grab that guy. Let me go grab the zebra ball. And there's more copper over here too. Maybe this is my thumbnail? I found a zebra ball? What? Look at that thumbnail right there. Ha ha ha, I like that. Ooh, definitely a lot more here than I thought there was gonna be. overflowed our machine here so start throwing away some of these nuggets we don't want and filling them up with the ones that we do want all the resources we need all right let's head back up to the surface is that another zebra ball look at that it's a leo ball get another thumbnail let me let me move to a place that's good for another thumbnail alrighty so we made it back to our base and we actually now have all of the the resources we need to start our solar farm uh, looks like our glass is done so that's good actually done too so we're gonna set this guy back on here next so we're gonna smelt all of the aluminum next and we do actually now have our full silo of uh, hydrazine. And now we need to combine that silo with our silo of graphite to make graphene. And so we are going to actually set this on autofill as well. But while those are all smelting and getting their thing ready, I think we're going to go ahead and kind of flatten out an area here for where we want our flat area for where we want the solar farm so and I am gonna try my best to get this to work how I want it to I'm not quite sure it will so we're gonna try though Alrighty, so we kind of got our uh, space all laid out here. It's not perfect, but I think it's looking pretty good. And we got our aluminum done, which is incredible. And we do need to grab one of you guys over here. It looks like our graph uh, graphene's almost done too, but let's go ahead and throw one of you guys on the smelter here. And it does look like now our graphene tower has officially finished, so... We now have a whole nother finished silo over here. So now right now we just have to wait for our first tower of uh, copper to, to, to smelt. And so our next resource we actually need is aluminum alloy, which of course takes aluminum. 
and uh, copper. So uh, because of that, we have to wait for the first copper tower to smelt before we can start the second one. Okay, so it looks like our first copper tower is done. And now we can go ahead and throw both of these towers on our platform here. Let me just get this guy out of the way. We don't need him anymore. And we can start making our aluminum alloy. We're going to set that on repeat as well. And then, of course, we can throw this copper tower on the smelter now. Okay, so now it does look like our... A uh, battery tower has finished here. Not a bat. Why I call it a battery tower? It looks like our uh, aluminum alloy tower has finished. So we are now three out of the four towers for what we need. We have one left, which is the copper tower, and we got our copper tower as well. So these are actually the four towers that we need, and I'm really excited for this. So what we're actually gonna do? We're gonna move this off of here. Move this off of here, and we're gonna move this off as well. We're gonna set this guy right here with our four towers. Bam, 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 and bam. Now we're gonna actually see. We bought this thing. We haven't even bought it yet, so we're gonna buy the solar array. And now we have this thing all ready to print. Solar array, like so. But we're going to wait until the next episode to start printing these. So with all the resources we have here, we can actually print a full 24 of them, which is going to be crazy. And we're going to fill out this entire thing with uh, solar arrays. So if you are interested in that, make sure to come back for the next episode. But if you enjoyed the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode.